This exercise is a forward and reverse monster walk. So to start, you're going to need a looped resistance band like this one. You're gonna place the resistance band around the legs, and I'm actually gonna show you three different positions that you can place this band from easiest to hardest, or in other words, from least challenging to most challenging, okay? This first position right above the knees is gonna be the easiest or the least challenging. From there, if you move the band down between the ankles, that's gonna be the next most challenging. And then lastly, if you want a big challenge, you can put the band around the feet. For the demonstration in this video, I'm gonna go with the middle option, band around the ankles. Now, this exercise in some ways is similar to the lateral band walks, however, it's also different. I'm gonna start with the forward monster walk. So, I'm gonna back up slightly so that you can see me in the frame. And from here, I'm gonna start with the left leg. Now, I have a slight bend at the hips, slight bend at the knees, core is engaged. From here, I'm gonna step forward and out in a circular motion, so forward and out. Now, there's some diagonal tension on the band. What I'm gonna do then is step forward and out with the right leg, so there we go. Now again, there's some diagonal tension. I'm gonna step forward and out with the left leg, okay? I'm gonna repeat that process, and when I get to the end, I'm gonna go backward. So we're just gonna reverse the process. In and back, in and back, in and back, okay? So the idea with this exercise is that you are controlling the tension on the band. The tension on the band is not controlling you. Now I'm gonna give you an alternative to what I just showed you if that's a little bit too difficult to start, okay? So the alternative is that you're gonna have that same start position, bend at the hips, bend at the knees. Now, you're gonna step out, just a diagonal out, 45 degrees, no semi-circle motion there, just straight out. Now, you're gonna step feet together, okay? Keeping a little bit of tension on the band, and then diagonal out, 45 degrees. Back together, diagonal out, 45 degrees. Back together, diagonal out, 45 degrees. Now, to come back, it's just the opposite. 45 degrees back, nice and slow, bring the feet together. 45 degrees back, nice and slow, bring the feet together. Maintaining that bend at the hips, maintaining that bend at the knees, maintaining some tension on the band, and minimizing the movement of the upper body, okay? So that is the forward and reverse monster walk, both a little bit of a more challenging way and a little bit of an easier way. Now, anytime you're doing any type of walking exercise with a resistance band, there are probably dozens and maybe even hundreds of variations. This is just a general overview of one way that you can approach this exercise. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope that you have a great day.